<laughs> Look at how long they're upside down for. Brings you up and around. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys aeronautica landing. So here we go. Woo! All right, so when you enter aeronautic landing from Copperhead Strike and the flying things, you've got a almost like a runway, like an airplane runway. It's all airplane themed over here. Uh, you got your hover and dodge bumper cars to the right when you come in. I don't know if these are new, but it is part of Aeronautica Landing. You guys let me know in the comments that Hover and Dodge is also new. It Thank looks you, new. It's a very modern, modern bumper car situation. Really good looking. And you come back out to the runway. And straight ahead, you have the Wind, Wind Star. I think this is called Wind Star. Awesome fun ride. And then to the left, you've also got Frequent Flyers, uh, sorry, Frequent Friars, a food area where you can get uh, to-go food, including shrimp and chips, popcorn, chicken, chip basket, basket of fries, and drinks. And here's the new Aeronautica Landing sign. Pretty cool. With the this ride right next to it. And if you come from the other direction over there, you're also, you still have a runway on the ground. Um, there's also a restaurant up there. Terminal A has elevated brews and bites. Come fly the Carolina. It looks like a brewery slash restaurant up there with some restrooms over to the back side there. And coming back around, we'll take a look at these rides closer. And the Aeronautica sign is pretty cool. Aeronautica landing. There's the bumper cars going. Bring you over there and I'll show you the uh, bumper cars in action. Hover and Dodge is the name of them. Very modern looking. Pretty cool too because it's round. Alright. Then across from the wind star over there you've got gear spin. This new ride gear spin. Pretty cool. Flight test fuel. Another part of aeronautical landing is gear spin. Pretty neat ride. Brings you up and around. It's almost like a helicopter pad or something. Pretty cool. So it goes one way and then it goes the other way too. So you don't get too dizzy up there. <laughs> And you've got a lot of these, like the like you'll see on a real runway. Also, there's a couple of games, carnival games. I think this is like a hang on the bar. You hang on the bar as long as you can, and something like that. Got hydroplane rally over here. It looks like a water gun shooting game. Got air shot basketball. Air shot. Oh, well, there you go. Yep. What else have we got? We got balloon buster. Balloon buster. It looks like a shoot the balloons maybe with darts or something. With some squish models. And then over here in the middle you got this uh, little plaza. With a little memorial. Almost looks like a wing. Plane wing or something sculpture dedicated to all those who made the dream of reaching the skies of reality. It's pretty cool. We're gonna head back over to the Windstar. We've also got a, an airplane here next to the Windstar. 
I really like the style of the Windstar. It's very, uh, feels like the Wright Brothers. Maybe we'll do it. Why not? Let's go do it. Might as well. We're here, huh? Do it up. This is Windstar. I'm gonna go ride it. All right, we just did Windstar. It's pretty cool. With the uh, the wing wings up there. If you push it, you go higher. If you pull it, you go lower. So you can kind of self-control how high you want to go with the bar there. So yeah, that triangle bar there controls how high you fly. If you push it, you go high. If you pull it, you go low. Pretty cool. And I just rode it. It's a great little family ride for more for younger people, but I had to ride it because it's new. It's brand new, people. <laughs> Again, that one is called Windstar. Windstar. Windstar Aeronautical Landing. Gear, gear spin about to go, and this is the actual sign for gear spin on the other side. Gear spin. These do have fast lane lanes as well, so I was able to use my fast lane all season Cedar Fair pass here. And then if you keep going past Windstar, you'll go past Afterburn, which is here. The Afterburn Coaster, which is also airplane themed, that is right next to Aeronautica Landing. And you keep going, and to your left, you'll find the Airwalker. Touch the sky. The Airwalker. This one is right next to Afterburn, and we'll show you how this works here in a minute once it gets going. Airwalker, soar like a bird. Here she goes. So it goes, and it starts to spin. It's almost like a, a bowl. You're in a bowl. About halfway through it stops and goes the other way. You get to go both ways. Pretty cool. I like a bird on Airwalker. And then after Airwalker, if you keep going down to the very back of Aeronautical Landing, you'll find Air Racer. Cool. Again, this is right next to Afterburn there. This was very fun. I did this the other day. Very fun. I think I'm gonna do this one too. Here's what the carts look like on the ground. Pretty neat. All right, we just did air racers. Air racers, cool. I like the propellers. Had to have gone upside down at least 20 times, if not 30. It's quite quite a neat ride. Love it. Love it. Love it. Pretty cool. That's what the carts look like. Yeah, and I just rode it. Went upside down many, many times. Pretty cool, pretty cool. That okay, was right Air now. Racer. Air Racer. Aeronautical landing. Airways. And then there's a little, uh, little thing here where you can pull this lever and make the propeller spin. If you do that, it makes the propeller spin up there. Pretty cool. Fun thing for the kids. Great. All right, and those are all the rides here at Aeronautica Landing. Then over here, you have an area to dine, Brewery Bites. Aeronautica Landing, it's like a, a canopy here where you can get away from the hot uh, Carolina sun. 
and they've got seating over here it's uh about 7 30 at night right now so it's not open and it's on a so it's about 7 30 on a sunday so it looks like they've closed for the night but oh maybe they are still open brewery bites they have uh that's the menu there double dog combo laguardia dog i want to pause you can read this looks like uh, mostly hot dog type things. All dogs served with a side of kettle chips and, and a brioche bun. Also have power and water, or Powerade and water. Southern Star Airlines. I didn't see any beer there, which is interesting. Considered it's called Brewery Bites, but <laughs> interesting. Oh, there is another ride over here. I forgot about this one. One more ride. I was mistaken, guys. There is one more ride over here. It's not open right now, but it's called Gyro Force. Gyro Force. It was open the other night when I was here. Basically, uh, you get on it and it, it like spins up and down, or it spins around and kind of like goes like that. <laughs> I'm not really explaining that correctly, but um, kind of like goes around like a saucer, like if a, if a plate was spinning on the ground. All right, so that is the last ride here at Aeronautica Landing. Also, and here's the entrance to Aeronautica Landing if you come from the Camp Snoopy side. It brings you back onto a runway here. And then it gets you right over to wind, the wind ride there. In Terminal A, up here is the elevated beer, brews and bites. Elevated brews and bites. Take a walk up here and see what they have. <sighs> nice dining area outside, so you can relax. Yeah, and it's actually a full-on bar. Cool. Terminal A, elevated brew and bites. Nice. We got some brews on tap and a nice bar here if you want to get away from the Carolina heat. There's the beers they have on tap as well as many other beers in the coolers. Oh, they have frozen Jack and Coke and frozen margaritas too. Nice. I don't drink anymore, but those sound delicious. And you got some Aeronautica themed items. And here's the menu. The menu is all on a QR code on the table. Oh, here's some more of the uh, cocktails they have. You want to pause and read that? That is Terminal A at Aeronautica Landing. I like the, uh, the shades up top. All of this is brand new for 2023. And that does it for Aeronautica Landing here at Carowinds on the border of South Carolina and North Carolina. Fun fact, Carowinds is in both states. The state line divides Carowinds in half. Pretty cool. All right, make sure you hit subscribe if you want to come with me on my other adventures. I live in my van and travel across the country and go to tons of amusement parks and beaches and all kinds of fun places. So if you like van life and travel and amusement parks and roller coasters, make sure to hit subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Have a good day. Bye.